Yeah, I feel good. I had an amazing start to my morning. Like I was like, woo, I have a new le like life. Life has taken on new complexions, new, new, new feelings. Like it was, it was, it was good. <laughs> and when I say good, I mean mind blowingly spectacular good morning. To if me, you saw a few days ago, a few short days ago, I had my blood pressure evaluated over here at at Walmart. It's right over there. Walmart, right over there. I had it checked out because I wasn't feeling well the last few days. In fact, I haven't been feeling well the last several months. And when I say several, I'm probably talking about 18 months. However, my doctor has suggested, Tim, you drinking enough water? You drinking enough water over there? I'm like, well, sure. Sure I am. Sure. I got to be drinking enough water, right? You know what I realized in the last about 20 hours? I was not drinking enough water. So last night, uh, I went back to said Walmart, the land of the free, the home of the brave. I went to Walmart and got me a six pack. I got me a six pack of the most expensive bottled water that I could find, that Fuji water, I only have, have a bottle on me. But I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this hardcore, like I do everything, hardcore. And uh, I just started going on a water drinking binge. And I felt really good. I felt really good this morning. So I drank from around, uh, about nine o'clock last night till around midnight water like not going crazy i'm not like trying to like over dilute myself because that's a problem too you can actually super dilute yourself and then all of your electrolytes are too dilute and then you just go into like death so i didn't obviously i didn't do that but um i did go about it pretty hardcore drinking that water down drinking the water down woke up this morning yeah i feel good i had an amazing start to my morning like i was like woo i have a new le like life Life has taken on new complexions, new, new, uh, new feelings. Like it was, it was, it was good. <laughs> and when I say good, I mean mind blowingly spectacular good morning to me in the way I felt and my sense of well being. And it was like having a new lease on life. Like it, it was like seeing for the first time. Indeed, that's how profound it was. And so as I go throughout the day, I'm waiting for that crash, that energy crash, that fatigue that sets in, usually with me around oh, around noon, around noon, between noon and three o'clock, I just feel like this crash, like, oh, 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 I can't, I gotta force myself through it. I gotta force myself through it. But you know what? Today, I didn't feel that. And I just kept drinking the water. And I drank all my whole six-pack. All of it's gone. And I started drinking just tap water to keep it moving. And whoo! I think it shows. I'm feeling good. I feel good. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I knew that I would. Not why well, I didn't know that I would. But I'm glad that I did. Because I was running out of options. You know what I mean? Like, I've been complaining about this fatigue for a really, really long time. Like a year and a half. And I thought it was, I thought it was everything else. Like, I had no idea actually what it was. Everything else. And all it is, like, seriously, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. That's all it is. I'm keeping my fingers crossed as just proper hydration is keeping me from living my best life because I feel pretty good right now. <laughs> and I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. And it's like somebody flipped a switch on and I feel amazing. Like really amazing. So, uh, so anyway, to rewind the tape, um, a few days ago, I wasn't feeling well, like really wasn't feeling well. And I'm like, you know, I'm going to get my blood pressure tested. Let's go to Walmart, check out the pressure, see where we're at. Maybe it's really high. I don't know. I was just, I wanted to vlog and, you know, I knew they had a blood pressure monitoring machine over there. So I went in there, hit it up. 
And I think I got like a 145 systolic and like a hundred diastolic, diastolic pressure, which is pretty high <laughs> for just like walking around. Um, although they say that the pressures can fluctuate radically throughout the day. And just because it's high during the day doesn't mean that you have high blood pressure because it goes down at night when you sleep, blah, 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 whatever. However, however, if you do have some dehydration going on up in these systems and that circulatory system and that digestive system, it will cause your heart to have to work a little bit more harder because of the viscosity of the fluid and the blood, the plasma and all that. Um, so I think it'd be interesting to go back into said Walmart, go back into Walmart and see what my blood pressure is. See if it's lower than what it was a few days ago. Um, I basically have to beat 145 over 100. And when I say beat, I mean lower, be lower than that. And I'll be freaking like, whew, I'll be doing a dance. I'll be doing like a Irish jig out in the aisles of Walmart and like singing the praises of hallelujah. I have found the light, the fountain of glory called Fuji water. Like Fuji, I'm looking for you. Like I would be an absolutely passionate, exciting, entertaining brand ambassador for your bottled water? You know, come on, seriously. Just look at this video. Like, look how passionate I am, how excited I am over just water. Um, and it tastes so good. Like, it really does taste like it's coming straight out of that. Like, it's like I have my mouth just like, ah, just covering that Fujian spring and that fresh spring water. Is just rushing into my mouth. It feels so good. Tastes so good. That's all I want. I'm actually going to go back in there and get me another six pack of this Fuji water. Um, but not before. I test my blood pressure and see where we're at with it. So I'm going to be doing this solo. I'm going to be a solo act tonight. Taking the Identity Crisis Project in with me, myself, and I, and nobody else. And we're going to lock it down and hold it down and see what's on this blood pressure underground, you know what I mean? Yeah, it could mean the return, the full return of me. Cause I just been feeling like half in, half out. Like I feel good, I don't feel good, good. Like hour to hour sometimes. It's just wild, wild. And I'm so thankful my doctor was like, make sure you stay hydrated. And it's like, I've always, like I drank water too. Like, aside from the juices and smoothies and coffee, I know coffee's diuretic and all that, but I do drink uh, glasses of water, but I got away from the bottled water because I thought, well, the plastic, it's leaching chemicals into the water, you know, I just drink tap water. And I know tap water's got the whole thing with the people flushing down antidepressants into the toilet that's going into the, the water system, water supply, and we're drinking freaking that. So it's always something, you know, it's always something. So I have to go... I have to go all the way to Fuji, <laughs> the Fujian Islands, to properly hydrate myself with the absence of pesticides and herbicides and antidepressants and all the other crap that's in our water. I got to go all the way to Fuji to get that done. Or Fiji. I don't even know. I like, I'm out of my mind. I'm so excited. Maybe it's Fiji. Uh, Fuji, isn't, isn't the Fujian Islands Fuji? Mount Fuji. I'm all screwed up. I'm going to figure this out, though. Don't hold it against me, because I am just so enthusiastic, because I'm feeling good for the first time in, like, probably closer to two years and 18 months. And I just want to dance. Anyway, I go into this Walmart, get my blood pressure checked, and we're going to see where I'm at with it, and uh, hopefully I score some low points, and I can just get back on these daily vlogs, kicking some serious identity crisis project Yes. So I'll see you on the flip. All right. <laughs> nice. All right. So I uh, actually did not go into Walmart because it started raining really hard, man. I don't want to get wet and <laughs> sick. I'm right coughing. But I am going through Starbucks for the going to Starbucks for the, the second time today. In addition to my smoothie, um, 
I feel like I had another drink too. But that was the other day. I was having smoothies and juices yesterday, but I wasn't drinking enough water. But I'm gonna get a green tea. Ice green tea lemonade, if I may please. My second trip through this place. Man, happy about it too, you know. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. How are you doing tonight? Hi, good. This is my second trip through today. So oh, it's wow. good. It's a good day, I think, for me. <laughs> a little bit. Um <laughs> Do you still have uh, the green tea lemonade? I believe we still do. Yes. yes, we still have the green tea lemonade. Okay, I have a grande uh, ice green tea lemonade. Sure and does that come with sweetener? It doesn't, does it? It does not come with sweetener, but we could put something like a liquid cane in there if you wanted. Yeah, could you just put one pump of the liquid cane in there? Yeah, sure thing. Perfect. Anything else, Reed? That's all. All right, that'll be 375. We'll see you up here. All right, thanks. Thank you. I feel good. These last 20, 21 hours, I feel good. Proper. Proper. Like brain fog and like feeling like energized but then tired and yawning and like fatigued. Like I can't move. It's not good. It's not good at all. So listen to your body. Well, I was listening to my body, but listen to your doctor. Um, common sense knowledge. Um, can make profound shifts and changes in your life and your body. Anyway, we're about to get through this drive through Get that green tea lemonade. I'm making my presence felt at all these Starbucks. All across the country. I could go on a Starbucks world tour. That's what I should do. You know what I mean? Hi. Hi, good. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have anything planned for later? No, I'm just out vlogging. I got my YouTube channel. I got to keep content coming out every day. Oh, yeah. What's your channel? Uh, the Identity Crisis Project. Wow, I'll have to check you out. Yeah, definitely. Daily uploads are back. So I can't even take a break. I can't even drive and not record. I got I to gotta always be multitasking. There's always a camera in my hand. There you go. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, you enjoy it. You too, thanks. All right, we are out of here. And we're back on the grind on this rain, on this rain hellscape that is Ohio. See, people are just so intrigued by somebody just saying they got a YouTube channel and actually recording. They're like, ah, check that out. Here in Ohio, it's, it's kind of like shooting fish in a barrel. Now just think if I really applied myself and drink all of my water every single day. What could I become? What could I become? Yeah? Oh my God. They want a kidney. And I'm working my way back to you, babe, with a happiness inside. I'm working. I'm working my way back to you, babe. Man, it's raining like freaking dogs and cats and lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, I can't hardly take it anymore. I just want to get my blood pressure take. Oh. All right, so I'm back at the scene of the crime here. About to get that blood pressure tested. Let's see if I can beat my previous score of 145 over 100. Place your left right. hand in the blood pressure. It's about to get real, real fast. At least one inch above your elbow. Then press go. Oh, how am I supposed to press to go? To ensure an accurate reading, do not press. I just want to get lower than 145. I gotta relax, though. I'm way too. I'm way too wound up. Oh, it's tight. Not anymore. Just gotta relax. Happy thoughts, happy place. Rainbows, unicorns, daisies, purple horseshoes, green rainbows. I can feel my pulse in my arm. Just be, just be below 145, please. Please. Below 145, below 100. That's all I want. Below 145, 100. The blood pressure test. Here we go. What's it gonna be? Please take your arm out of the cup. Come on, be there. Be there. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's a crisis. This is not good. It's truly an identity crisis project. Crisis. 172 over 121. I'm surprised this thing isn't just calling a, a telemedicine doctor right now. 
I don't know. That's the thing. I feel amazingly good. I don't know that these are... I don't know that these machines are the most accurate in the world. Maybe they're extremely inaccurate, extremely <laughs> brutally wrong. <laughs> but I don't think you can feel this good and have 172 blood pressure. And I don't think I have white coat syndrome. Anyway, that doesn't really confirm my good, my good feeling, my happy, uh, happy attitude. Because I feel so good, but yet I have exceedingly crisis level blood pressure. So I don't know what that's saying about me. Maybe I'm just a, a walking crisis, a walking time bomb. We'll see. But um, another vlog, another day, another vlog. And uh, hopefully I make it through the night. At this point, it's like dead man. <laughs> I feel better than I got that 145. That's the thing. It's like the higher my blood pressure goes, the better I feel. <sighs> I don't know. Anyway. We'll come back to Walmart tomorrow. We'll see if I can beat 172. <laughs>